Hello everybody, welcome back, and I just want to say that uh, this game is probably just, it is the most fun game I think I have ever, ever, ever played, and let me tell you, let me start off by telling you that I have played a lot of games, oh wow, that, kudos to, uh, oh, I, I actually really like this item, mostly because, um, if you have a, a tier item that you don't think is worth anything, which sometimes because I'm awful at the game half of the time, uh, I hate some of the tiers. Like, I got Lodovico on a private run, and I thought it was just the worst thing I have ever gotten in my entire life. So you can still shoot stuff through the rocks, which I'm actually pretty happy about. That, that means uh, it'll be easier to... Oh, no! I actually really hate this item, too. You know, that, that's interesting. He didn't catch on fire. Is it because he's got long legs? Oh. But uh, as I, I, was, I was talking, um, I played a lot of games. And this game, there's just... You know, with with the Binding of Isaac, how it is, there's already the... The way that it is, I think, is, is what uh, compels me to, to like this game day in and day out. Over and over again. Because you never... You, you, know, you know, it's like... It's like Forrest Gump, you never, life is like a box of chocolates, you never know what you're going to get next. The same concept applies in Isaac, you never know what kind of run you're going to have, you never know what items, if you're going to have to just be the best dodger in the game and dodge any projectiles that, that come at you, or... The game just has a certain randomness to it that I think we needed some kind of... I think that thing just did damage. Oh yeah, I knew. Oh, again. Oh, I'm stuck. They trapped me. I didn't think... I didn't think they could do that. But, um... A certain uniqueness the game has to it that... I think... The players have come to... Enjoy. And, it, it, and it's unlike any other game... That we've ever... Played. You know, I've played roguelikes before, of course, and... I'm sure many of us also have. Alright, stop healing yourself, you're ding-dong. You're getting annoying. Um... But this game, just the sheer, you know, anything can happen is what I think drives this game to be what it is. And the fact that there's just so many choices to get different things and, you know, make each run unique to yourself. So this game, has it's, it's kind of grown on me in a, in a sense. Um, you know, I used to, the original version, even before Wrath of the Lamb came out, I would come home, I remember before I had any money, I torrented a version of the game that was updates behind just so that I could play it because I was watching uh, a YouTuber play it and I was just like, wow, that game looks awesome. So I remember actually torrenting a version of the game and playing illegally so that I could play the game. I think this takes us to the ticket room. Yeah. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. So I'm kind of glad I used that, but um, you know, I'm sure if if this game didn't exist, there would be some kind of game that people, you know, actually I can't even say that because just of how you unique I knew I oh I knew it, just because of how unique that this game is, you know I think us as players I just dodged I keep dodging right into that come on die. And I can't get that health, so that puts us in a, in a bad kind of position here. Because if I take even a heart of damage, I'm dead. So I have to be extremely careful with how I, I take damage. You know, rooms like this are prime examples of why I cannot be trusted. Please be easy. Yeah, I'd say this is a pretty easy room. It's just... I don't know, I feel like I'm... I'm entitled, or that I, like, if I don't play the game, I feel like I'm cheating myself, just because it's, it's the Binding of Isaac, you know? Oh, man. Oh, no, I didn't know they shot. You know, if I don't get a heart or a key here, I think we might be in a tough spot, because that's going to be some bad RNG. Oh, come on, die, 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 die. Just give me, I don't even want a key, I, I want a heart, give me a heart. Oh. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, so you guys see why why this is not good. And I don't see any tented rocks. I would say the second room could be there, but I don't know. And I don't trust myself to not take damage. Oh, that's rough. Can I maybe... Is there a rock I can hit? No, there's nothing... There's nothing I can do here. I mean, this is my only shot right now. Nothing. Ooh, that's rough. That's really rough. So we're gonna try our damnedest. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it or not. Ooh! <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. My phone lit up, so I was like, who the heck? And... Okay, so it's just Monstro, and if Monstro doesn't be how Monstro can be sometimes, I if I could just kill the fly. Okay, so I think because it is... Oh, he went for the... He's going for the cloud right now. So if Monstro continues to be how Monstro usually is, and if he stops going for the, the scapegoat, and I can actually figure out his movement pattern because it's kind of tripping me up a little bit. Uh, yeah, so in, in addition to to, uh, to things I'm talking about, I just want to give a huge, huge shout out to... Oh, son of a bitch. I'm an idiot. Alright, we're going to start again because I feel like a total idiot. And this run's probably going to be so bad. Um... Wow, I am so sorry. But in addition to talking about the things I've been talking about, I just want to give a huge shout out to a friend of mine, uh, Chemical Peel. Yeah. So he has designed a very, very, very awesome thumbnail for my videos, which I'm hoping will draw in some viewers and uh, make everything swell. So three bombs for one bomb, so a net gain of two bombs, like can't go wrong with that. You can't go wrong with that. I almost just, I was like, well, I'm already kind of like behind now that I died on the, the cave or the depths or the basement part too. Jeez. So, um, yeah. Wow. Oh, so I just want to thank him so much because it looks absolute. I was, I was looking at the recording and the other screen so that's why I took that damage there. Not because I'm awful at this game. And I swear, some tear shots I feel like shoot faster. Um, what kind of heart is in here? Half heart, whatever. I need to stop taking damage or I'm not going to get heals. Oh, you know what I just saw right as I, right as I uh, left that room? I, I was stuck in the rock! I thought I could move! What happens if we place a bomb here and do that? They always move away from it. Stay, stay! Oh, come on. And now I'm not going to use my last bomb because I know that there's a tented rock in the other room. I saw it as I was walking out. Wait, just, just chill out here. We're, we're friends, except for I'm trying to kill you and you don't want me to kill you, but it's got to happen because you're, you're LJ and there we go. And dog food, so I'm pretty happy about the HP upgrade. If uh, everything goes well on the next floor... Maybe we can get a deal with the devil. Maybe. So these two spirit hearts are actually pretty good. Maybe they uh, help me not be such a bad person at this game. And uh, encourage me to take less damage. So it is nine minutes and we're just now on the... The basement part two. Excuse me while I take a sip of my coffee. And that was really weird. I don't know if that was chest area or... A butt area that was just being shot from, but uh, I feel bad for Isaac. Kind of, he's like that kid that that gets bullied, but but you, like there's no, like even if you stepped in, like you you'd get beat up yourself, which is the problem in America. I'm sure, it's a problem everywhere. Actually, you know, people get bullied worldwide. I shouldn't limit problems like that to America. Okay, there's a bomb. Is there a tented rock in here? You know, one would think just because of how many rocks, but I don't think I see one. 
And to be fair, they are kind of hard to see. Now, I really hate these dingle things. Uh, I think they look like... I've heard them referred to as, like, little pieces of poop, but I think they look more like a Hershey Kiss. The ones that have the tinfoil wrappers on them that you... Oh! See, that was me being greedy and trying to kill that one. Should have just dodged patiently. Now, see, this game, Super Mega Troll. But, uh, I think we're doing pretty good. Whoa, I've never seen the yellow one before. I'm not quite sure what he does. Oh, it just drops a charge, I guess. That's pretty cool. That would be awesome if I had a... Oh, nice. And we're not going to go to the shop because I want to see what's in the item room. Maybe it's quad shot? Polyphemus, maybe? That would be good, Polyphemus. Let's hope for Polyphemus. What is this? Mom's eye. Oh, okay. I wonder if that, if that works with brimstone. So if you get brimstone, I wonder if... Uh, you know, I don't think the secret room's here, but let's be spontaneous. Ah, uh, yeah, it's probably the other one. I figured. I figured probably not. Oh, yes, Monstro. A boss that doesn't benefit from me having Mom's Eye. You know, I should have saved the bomb for Monstro. That would have been pretty easy to deal with if it was, uh... Does it have his shots always gone that far? I don't remember. And I, like I said, uh, I listened to the last video... And I really am sorry about the, the, the keys. I, I tried, you know, turning the volume up so that you would hear Isaac more, but then I have to talk louder, and then it's, it sounds like I'm screaming, and I don't want to sound like I'm screaming. Deal with the devil. Let's go. Monstrous Tooth. I thought we got that last time. Blood Clot. Yes. Okay. Okay, three red chests. Pills, spiders, and troll bombs. Well, not actual troll bombs, but please be good. Not that good. Lemon party. Okay. Well, at least we tried. So, you know, I don't think we're making that bad of time since all we really have to go to on this one is Mom's Heart. And I think if we remain vigilant and... You know, don't take damage on dumb things like these blue dudes that I absolutely cannot stand because it feels like they never die. Oh, I thought I'd be able to... Oh, I dodged into it. Nice. I hate these blue ones. They seems like they never die. And their things block your shot. Did I take a full heart of dip? Oh, wow. Come on. Stop being annoying. Thank you. Alright, nice. So, money that I can't really do anything with because I don't have a key. Alright, so these things are actually pretty annoying to die. No key, which is what we need right now. I'm trying to get to the boss. Oh my lands. I didn't even think he was lined up to hit me. Whatever, man. So it doesn't look like we're gonna get a deal with the devil on this floor. Which which sucks, but I guess it it's what it is. You, you win some and you lose two in a row, apparently. Which does kind of suck, and I hate this enemy so much. And the the worst thing about this enemy is feels like the bone curves to you, like it, it trolls you. It knows you're trying to dodge in and it's just like, nah, we're good. We'll pass. So hopefully we find something good in here. What is this? The wafer? Damage resistance. I'm not quite sure what that is, but uh, hopefully it does some good. Alright, so. This boss is pretty easy other than... And I think he's actually one of the cooler bosses. So I'm not sure... So is the wafer... It says damage resistance. But is it like a chance for damage resistance? Because I still took... I still took that heart of damage. Hmm, that's weird. Nope. I don't know how I didn't... Maybe you take less damage? Oh my gosh. It, it, so it, like, it like immediately jumped to me. Oh my god. 
like the time between when you can take damage in this game is so little. So I often like I need to remember that that, that happens. I'm sorry for my awful performance lately. It's just so terrible and I, I can't understand why I'm playing so badly. And I'm gonna take damage here for sure. Because of the path of these flies. I feel not good. Okay. Ooh. That was almost bad. That was almost bad. So I didn't take damage when I when I came to the room, so that's pretty good. Do you know what item is really, really good? It's called Holy Mantle. It blocks one damage. Um one damage per group. I don't even want to talk about the damage that I just took. Rooms like this, man, just this game is either like it's a 50-50 shot for me on whether or not I'm gonna win. And this run is starting to shape up like one of those times where I'm like, yeah, probably not this time. Cause now I'm in this room and the all of the people are shooting square shots and I need you to just line up for me. Come on. Alright, so this dude can die quickly now. Because his shots can't go that far. This pill is probably bad. Bombs are key. Yes. Dead Sea Scrolls, not good. Oh, what an item. Oh, no. I'm an idiot. Wow. See, now that... That actually was pretty bad. I'll admit, that was pretty bad. And that was completely my fault too. So, I can't blame the game on that one because that was 100% me. I, see, we've gotten two damage upgrades, but I don't feel like two damage upgrades. You know what I mean? I don't feel like I'm doing two two hearts or two damage upgrades worth of damage. And I would use Dead Sea Scrolls, but I feel like I'm too close to the boss room to use it, so... Alright, so this room is a joke. This room is also kind of bad, because I've been known to take a lot of damage on this room. I know I was talking about it earlier, but man, just the, the updated graphics... You know, I never knew, I was reading, I've been reading a lot about the Binding of Isaac lately, and I never, ever, ever knew that it was a Flash game. I just, I thought it was in Java, if I'm, if I'm being honest with you. And, uh, it was Flash, and, you know, now that they've done whatever they've done, you know, I think it looks freaking amazing. So, I went the wrong way, which is not entirely bad, except for the fact that these things do one heart full worth of damage and I don't do that much damage okay so don't distract okay that gave me a key so I'm not doing too bad in the key department and I might actually go back up and, and go to the shop definitely will go to the shop so we're gonna take this key back up to the shop and see what's going on actually the shops down here so we don't have to go it's not like we're backtracking a whole lot I just want to see maybe there's something in there worth picking up. The ladder is not, but we're going to take it and the spear heart. So maybe we take a little less damage. We're going to put two pennies into the donation jar. So now we can get that. Anything else up here that I missed, maybe? Wait, what is... What is this? Oh! Oh! Uh... Okay, so we're gonna fight the boss and just in case we don't get a deal with the devil I'm gonna save this card because if we do get a deal with the devil I don't want to like the chance that I wouldn't have gotten one is I don't want to risk it, but I think the book of blood was definitely a lot better than Dead Sea Scrolls, so For sure take that So Die quickly Quit shooting tears at me now this guy just needs to die and give me something good. Uh oh. 
Alright, two bombs. That's actually pretty good. I can live with two bombs. And you will die quickly. And nice. And a key. Very, very nice. Who are we fighting? We're fighting Larry Jr. We are fighting glorified Larry Jr. So can I just... I can safe spot. So that's pretty good. I think I'll just safe spot the boss. And this Larry Jr. actually I think is a joke. A longer one. Because do you see how fast I just melted him? Oh, I took damage. No. I didn't mean to take damage. He calls him a joke, Larry Jr. He takes damage. Hey, we got a little chubby and a deal with the devil. See, that's why I think it was a good idea that to not use the card. And why why would we not take Guppy's tail? And I think that's all we're going to take because I don't know what the other items do. Actually, for the sake of the run... You know what? No, I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk it, so we're not going to. And we're going to move on over to the Depths Part 1. And we still have our Joker card, so I'm not feeling too, too bad about our chances. Except for these enemies seem like they're kind of a probably a pain. Especially because they have a charge. Oh, I kind of lagged a little bit there. apologize for that. Alright, so considering that this thing doesn't act up, this is a pretty easy room, I would say. I don't know what that beeping... I took damage from... Wow. I don't know what that beeping sound is in the background, by the way. I don't know if I'm hearing things or if it's the game. Uh, but come on, die. Die. There we go. Oh, yeah, I remember those that thing. Come on, lift your... Nice and Skelebro gets right in the way. Come on. One more time. There we go. See, I thought... With Guppy's tail, all the chests are supposed to be cursed chests. I don't understand. Yeah, these are all gonna come. Okay, so that was pretty easy. And I don't wanna walk through that because I'll know I take damage. And that would be dumb damage to take right now. Alright, so that was pretty good actually. And yeah. Please no. I knew, and I dodged right into it. Come on, I have to stop. What, what did I take damage from there? That doesn't make any sense. So I'm probably definitely not going to get a deal with the devil on this floor. And I really, really hate Dingle. And I wish he would stop spawning stuff. Okay, you can stop. Alright, not to kill these things before they rush me. They're going to rush me. Oh my goodness gracious, if I lose. These bot like they're entirely too fast. Like you dodge up and then they can just dodge immediately down. At least to me they're too fast. And of course I would go the wrong way. And I'm gonna take damage. Nope. Alright, so I have to be really careful. Because these things do a heartful damage. And Oh no. Come on. Probably could have safe spotted them, to be honest with you. Alright, so this is scary. Give me a heart. No? Ooh, hearts. Looking for any kind of heart. Come on. None? You can't help me out a little bit, game? Oh boy. Alright, so this. This room is easy, all things considered, and maybe, if I'm lucky, it'll give me a heart. Come on, die. Heart, 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 heart. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, now, I'm feeling a whole lot better. This room, too, at least doesn't have skull bros in it. These things are annoying by themselves, though. They'll die from that bomb. Oh, nice. Come on. Quit being annoying. Or don't quit being annoying. 
I like that you don't hold things over your your head anymore as long so that you don't take unnecessary damage. So that was pretty good. Play one time. Ah, oh, yes. And then we'll use that bomb to blow it up. Nice. Probably shouldn't have taken that until the next floor. Now that I think about it. So that he's gonna die now. Nice. I am feeling so much better already about this run. And it's just a good old fish you liar. I wish it would break though. Like that's how if that's not a good indication of the damage that we're doing, then Alright, fish you like chill out. Chill 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 chill. Alright, so we might also go to the item room just to see if you know what's up. Come on, die. Good. Maybe. I don't think we get in an item room on the next floor, so... What is this? Robo baby? Oh, nice. So that'll be some good extra damage. I don't know what that is. Can, can you get your money back from this, I wonder? Oh, only a penny. So it took two pennies, but only gave me one penny. Do you think we can find another penny somewhere? Oh my, unnecessary damage. Because I would love to see what that item is. Because it looks cool. Well, as far as piggy banks go. Money, 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 money. Good. Now we can go back. We don't have to backtrack like all the... This is a big floor. So I don't think I'm going to get a deal with the devil on this, on this floor. Um, probably not, actually. We're going to pick up and see what it's about. Piggy bank. My life savings. Okay, so... Um, okay. We're going to fight the boss. It's Monstro 2. So I wonder what kind of damage we're going to be doing to Monstro 2. Oh, nice. He killed... Oh, he can kill all... He can kill his people? I forgot to pop Book of Belial. So that we're not doing... Oh, bad dodging on my part. Wait, that's pretty interesting. I want to test the theory again, but I want to try not to... take damage. He's going to jump again. This has got to be a douche and spawn enemies. Come on, Monster. I thought we were friends. And they fixed Monstro's little glitch where you could stun mock him. So, yeah, you can't do that anymore. So those flies are going down pretty quickly. Alright, Monstro. You know, used to be re Oh, yeah, okay, so... Whenever I take damage, apparently I drop money. Oh, I have to be careful now. Come on. He's, I feel like he's actually kind of difficult now. Oh no, what did I take damage from? Okay, stop spawning people. Actually, please die. No, son of a bitch! Oh, I'm so sorry for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode anyway. And I will see you next time.